Chatbots are outdated. Imagine if someone lands on your website and instead of filling out a boring form or talking to a chatbot, they talk to a voice AI agent. No typing, no clicking, they just ask a question and the agent responds instantly just like a real person. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to add your own voice AI agent to your WordPress website. So without any further ado, let's jump in and get started. All right, guys, so let me show you how to add a voice AI agent to your website. So if I just go to this website right here, um, if I go to any other page, you can see that we have our voice agent here um, and you can start a new chat and you can then chat with this agent. So if I click this button, um, it's going to ask me for my microphone and hey, can you hear me? And I don't think you guys can hear it, but um, it is responding to me. So that's how this works. I'm going to end this chat. And so adding this to your website is pretty easy and it's pretty customizable as well. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is basically go to retail and make sure your agent is good to go. So I have this agent that I already have made. If you want to watch my full retail tutorials, I'm going to link them down in the description box so you can go and check it out there. Uh, but once you're here, you're going to go back to home and you're going to make sure to go to settings and just have your API key on you. Just keep this because we're going to need it in just a second. And then you're going to come to this website called chat-.com. Again, I'm going to have this linked in the description so you guys can check it out. But once you're on this website, you can just create an account. And I'm actually going to create a new one just to show you guys, but I already did this before. And then it's going to ask you to select a plan. Once you do that, it's going to take you to this page. Uh, just click launch my AI service. And then you can just upload your agency logo. I'm not going to do that. And then your agency name and your domain as well. So just do that. Um, I'm just going to go with this default one. Uh, so I'm just going to click next. And then you can enter your client name. I'm just going to add my name. And your member name can just be whatever. I'm just going to add a random number there and then you can create a password and click create client. Once that is done, it's going to take you to this page. You can just connect external agent because we're going to be uh, connecting an agent from retail. Uh, so just select this option right here. After that, we can make sure to select retail and then go back to retail and copy your API key and then paste it right here. So just paste that and verify and continue. That should be good. And then it's going to show you all the agents that you have built inside of your retail accounts. So I'm just going to select the agent that I wanted to add. And then it gives you an option of adding your knowledge bases as well. So you can do that. But I'm going to click add agent. Do that and confirm. Perfect. After that, just click next. And lastly, it's going to give you your client dashboard URL um, and your login ID and password for that. We don't really need this for the purposes of this tutorial, but you can definitely save this somewhere if you want. Uh, just click complete. And then it's going to take you to the homepage of Chat Dash uh, where you can go to agents. And then it's going to show you the agent that you just added. I'm just going to click it. And then it's going to show me an option um, to basically embed the code. You can obviously change some things here, but what we're interested in is the embed code option right here. Uh, click that. And then we're going to copy this embed widget as pop-up. We're going to have to paste this code inside the code of our website um, in WordPress, or you can do it in any other platform as well. So let me just go to WordPress now, and then I'll show you guys what to do there. And by the way, for WordPress, I'm using our channel sponsor Hostinger, which is the most reliable and the most affordable way to host your WordPress website. So be sure to check him out. Link is going to be in the description. But with that being said, we're going to go down to appearance and then theme file editor. Uh, so appearance and theme file editor, this is going to give you access to the code for the website. And on this page, you're going to go down to footer.php. And on there, you can go down uh, to this body tag where the body tag ends and the HTML tag ends as well. Just go above that and add some space just so I can see um, where I'm adding it. And then you can just paste the code that we copied right here. So once you do that, you can just update file and that should be pretty much it. Now we should get our voice AI agent on our website. So I'm just going to visit the site um, on a new tab. And let's see if it works. So if I go to any of the pages, we should see um, a chat agent right there on the bottom. Perfect. So uh, we're going to give it a second to appear, but you can see it's right there. Uh, click it. Hey, are Hi you there. there? Thanks for calling the face shoes. How can I help you today? And you can see the agent works. Obviously, it's not related to this website at all. It's actually a shoe store agent. Uh, but you get the point. You, you can see how we can add AI agents to our website. Now I'm going to show you guys some customizations that you can you guys can do because obviously this blue color doesn't really go with our website. So back inside of chat dash, we're going to close this. And then we're going to go to widget. And you can see that the widget is completely customizable here. So you can add an agent image, uh, which is going to appear, I believe here. And also you can change your widget layout. So you can change it to an intercom layout if you want. Um, and also simple voice agent. I think this one looks the most elegant um, and the most, you know, minimalistic. So I'm probably going to go with that. But you can also change your theme, so your fonts, your colors. Uh, for this specific website, I'm probably going to go with a green, something like that. And you can even pick your own color here. So that's another option that you have. And then you have some advanced customization options as well. So once you're done with your customization, you're not going to have to copy the code again or anything like that. You can just go back to your website, refresh it, and it should, uh, the new um, version of the widget should appear just like that. You can start a call and it's going to connect you to the agent. 
Perfect. So that is how you add an AI agent to your WordPress website. I really hope you guys learned something new. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And also let me know what kind of tutorials you guys want to see next. I will definitely consider your suggestions. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.